Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. In this video on proofs, we'll be discussing proof by contradiction. And the way proof by contradiction works is if you start with, you want to prove that P implies Q, so if P, then Q. By doing it by proof by contradiction, you state if P, then not Q. Then you do some logical manipulations you get to a logical contradiction, therefore this is not true, and therefore this must be true. Um, and so let's get started with just uh, doing a quick and easy proof by contradiction. So, let's say we want to show that So we want to show that there is no smallest rational number greater than zero, where a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction. And so, going by proof by contradiction, we're going to assume there is a smallest rational number greater than zero, and we're going to call it s for smallest. Um, and what we're going to do is divide it by two. Now, since this is written as a fraction, this is clearly within the positive rational numbers, and we have 0 less than s over 2 less than s. Therefore, we have started with the supposed smallest rational number. We got a smaller rational number, which contradicts the fact that s is the smallest rational number greater than 0, and we have therefore proven that there is no smallest rational number, because you can just keep doing this and getting smaller and smaller. Uh, that's a uh, short and easy one, so let's move on to a slightly more involved proof. <clears throat> and let's do it, do a geometry proof, since we haven't done one of those yet in this series. So, let's say we have a triangle ABC, where angle CAB is congruent to angle ABC. So if we have this, we're saying if this, then these two sides would be congruent. So Line AC will be congruent to line BC. And with proof by contradiction, we're going to assume that this is not true and that these are different lengths. So what we can do is make a point D such that AD is congruent to BC. So we're going to start first where AD is congruent to BC. Now we're going to draw a line connecting D and B. And we've got two triangles now. We have triangle ADB. We have triangle ADB and we have triangle ABC. And we have these two angles are congruent. We have these two sides are congruent. And we also, since both triangles share this bottom side, we also have that these two sides are congruent. And based on the side angle side triangle congruency, we can say that these two triangles are congruent, which is logically impossible since ABD is smaller than ABC. And therefore, we've reached a contradiction, and we, can, we have shown that if you have a triangle with two sides, uh, not two sides, two angles that are congruent, then the 
opposing sides are also congruent. And that concludes this video on proof by contradiction. If you want to see more videos about proofs, you can click right there. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click there. And if you want to go to centerofmath.org, you can click right there. And if you're on a mobile device, there's an eye in the top right-hand corner of the screen with all of these same links. Thank you very much for watching.